He drove his pearl white Mercedes Benz S65 for two hours. As he was heading to see her, she was waiting for his return back from a business trip he had to make. The private jet landed and his car was already there, so he didn't have to wait on the runway. He thought of nothing but her, her soft eyes, her soft lips, the smell of fresh mango shampoo in her hair, her soft skin he longed for, her soft gentle touch on his shoulders and down his back. She was home waiting for him, a glass of his favorite whiskey, very neat, her a glass of her favorite wine. She prepared cheese and sliced fresh exotic fruit for their pleasure. Her cell phone rang. It was him letting her know he would be home in 10 minutes. She went to the bathroom and started the hot water for a relaxing bath for him, for she knew he was tired, but she wanted to make sure he was relaxed before dinner. She heard the engine of the car pull into the driveway. She knew it was him because she knew how that car sounded from the many times they made love in it. She smiled as she thought about those times. The large double front doors opened as she could hear him walk in. She heard his voice. She replied. She was upstairs and told him his glass of Johnny Walker Blue was on the bar table next to the dining room. She then asked him to bring up her glass of wine that was next to his drink, and he did. When she looked up, she saw the silhouette of her husband, dressed in his custom suit, just getting back from his flight, from checking on their kids who now were in charge of running the family empire. She asked how was his flight. He responded too long because he was ready to see his wife. She smiled as he handed her the glass of wine. They embraced with a hug and a small kiss. As he asked if the bath was for him, she replied yes as she fed him some of the exotic fruit she prepared. She then told him to relax and undress to get ready for his bath. He walked back into the huge bedroom where he put his drink down on the mini bar, the wet bar that was in the master bedroom. He went inside his walk-in closet where he took off his shoes and placed them on a shoe rack next to his watches where he put back in the oak wood chest that contained his elaborate watch collection. Next his tie, which he folded and placed back in the center aisle in the closet. She then walked in behind him to help him take off his suit jacket. Then he turned around and grabbed her and pulled her close to him. As she looked deep into her, her brown eyes, piercing her inner soul, he began to kiss her soft lips. His large hands gently pushed her long hair back where her neck was now exposed. He softly kissed and licked her neck and her ear. She gasped for air, his other large hand working his way down her chest, untying the lace from her custom-made blouse. Her lace bra he undid as he slid out her left breast. Her nipples be, being to, began to harden with excitement. He could feel her heart beating faster. The more he kissed her neck and felt her firm but soft breast, she began to unbutton his shirt as she kissed his neck and ran her hands gently down his back and stomach. She could hear his heart beat faster and she could sense his penis beginning to fill with blood as his erection began to swell in width and length. As he reached around her back and unzipped her skirt as it fell to the floor, she was wearing his favorite panties, 
in black lace, with their garb belt and thigh highs, black lace stockings. As his big hands grabbed her ass, she smiled. He then ran his hands along the front lace part of her panties, for the back part was silk. He felt her pussy knowing she had freshly shaved. He felt her pussy lips were swollen, ripe as freshly picked cherries. He undid her garter belt and gently slid her panties down her legs as he followed behind by licking her legs. She was aroused and excited. She was now very moist as she could no longer hold her passion inside that she had for her husband. He lifted her up with brute strength and placed her on the center aisle. He put her legs on his shoulders as he moved in, back arched and head back. She knew what was about to happen as she anticipated his soft lips on her soft lips and his tongue gently touching all of her special places. As she gasped, it happened. She could feel the warmth of his breast, the moisture of his tongue, as it was now inside. She could feel every move his tongue made, in and out, side to side, stroke by stroke. She was in tune to his rhythm, lost in his world, excited and overwhelmed on how her inner soul was reaching. Her legs began to shake. It was something she had never experienced before but she was lost in the feelings and emotions. Then it happened. Her head jerked back, her hands clenched the center top. Her knuckles turned white. Because she was clenching so hard, her eyes rolled back as she gasped. Her release was so overwhelming, tears rolled down her cheeks. She just experienced a part of heaven that she never felt before.